This video is sponsored by Electrons. These guys. So we're first gonna talk about what is memory? And if you're watching this and you don't know what memory is, you're kind of screwed, but that's okay. Memory is like when you remember stuff, but in EE, it's like storing ones and zeros and then doing stuff with those things. So for my project, I made SRAM. There it is. Now an SRAM has many parts to it, and we're gonna talk about all those parts right now. Wait, who's that? Oh, hi there. Hello. Who are you? I'm an SRAM cell. Oh, cool. What do you do? I store one byte of information. Oh, cool. So if I used like a bunch of you, I can make one giant piece of SRAM. That's right. Okay. I guess I can start talking about how you work. And basically, we're storing one byte of information right there. Boom, there it is. And then just like goes around in a loop and it gets inverted and inverted and just stays in this little loop and stores that one byte of information. And if you'll notice, on the top of every SRAM cell, there's that little word signal. And I'll, uh, I'll talk about that later. So you just, you keep that in mind. I'll, uh, I'll, we'll do a little flashback, you know, we'll talk about that. And so if we have, let's say eight of them next to each other, boom, there it is. That's a word right there. And then if we have four rows, that's, that, those are our rows. That's like all the addresses for those words. Basically, this decoder takes in two address bits, boom, boom, and turns on one associated word line, boom. The word line turned on is dependent on the address bits that go in. Remember when I said that I was going to do like that callback thing in the flashback? Well, it's right now. We're doing it right now. And I'll, uh, I'll talk about that later. So you just, you keep that in mind. So the word line from the decoder connects to the word line of the cell word. Now we're gonna talk about reading and writing. First, we'll go into reading. Now the way reading is done in our SRAM cells is by something called pre-charging. Basically, pre-charging is when we turn the bit lines on and then we see what they do. That's pretty much it. We look at which way the signal goes because it's connected to the stored bits. So if the stored bit is high, it's gonna pull the bit line high. And if it's low, it's gonna pull the bit line low. And then we just look at the bit line and we're like, oh, if it pulled it high, that means it's a value of one. If it's low, then it's a zero. Now we're gonna talk about writing. That's done with something called Driving. Basically, driving is where we take one bit line and we set it high, and the other bit line and we set it low. And depending on if we're writing a zero or a one, we're gonna set the specific bit lines. Now we're gonna talk about the things that make our pre-charging and driving possible. First, we're gonna talk about bit conditioning. There it is, there's the bit conditioning circuit. Isn't it wonderful? And you know, if you're looking at this and you're like, what? Well, that's fine. Because this is confusing. Basically, we have our little signal there. Boom. There it is. And it turns the, the PFETs, turns them on. Boop. There they are. And it charges up, pulls up our, uh, our lines. Boom, boom. There it is. And then it just kind of lets them sit there. Turns the PFETs off so that they're no longer being driven. If we go back to our reading example, well, one of them will get pulled low, and the other will stay high. And that's, uh, that's bit conditioning. I'll talk about the bit driving. If you don't know what bit driving is and you're like, what? That's fine as well, it's very confusing. We have our write enable signal going in along with our input data, and that will pull one of the two lines low when we're driving a circuit while keeping the other one at high. You can see it like, like short circuits and it just goes straight to ground. So it like pulls it pulls it low. And that's basically bit driving. So if we take all these things, you got your, uh, you got SRAM cell array. There it is. You got your decoder, boom. You got your 
bit conditioning array, your bit driving array. And if we put it all together, God, it's it's that's ram. It's that's ram that we were talking about at the beginning. Oh my god, it looks so weird. Yeah, that's basically it. You know, this is uh, uh yep, there it is. It's, it says S ram on it and everything. That's how you know it's real. That's how you know it's not fakies because it's actually labeled S ram. Alright, thanks for watching.